All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to go racing from Bristol. Starting up front is William Mann Jr. and James Harris. Dan Oliver, Sheldon Pearson on the second row. Stephen Pless and Joe Gregory on the third. Charles Whitehead and Chris Sawyer of the fourth row. Tyler Meeks and William Mann Sr. rounding out the field. All the drivers start rolling onto the track. Race car, I'll lead him around one more time. Yes, yeah, Stephen uh, Stephen Pless in the 69th, starting in fifth, has uh, Rob Armstrong cheering him on. Plus had an up and down run last week at Chicagoland, hoping for a little better luck here tonight. Pace car is in. It is time to go racing from Bristol. Junior fires their way. William Mann Jr. quickly takes the lead into turn one. James Harris trying to close the gap. Everybody's single file back behind for the moment. Oh, Charles Whitehead making a run up top. Gets a little squirrely out of four. But he is making the move on Meeks. Or I'm sorry, on William Mann. So, oh! Whitehead is loose. William Mann Sr. Avoids it. Tyler Meeks trying to advance. Looks like Sheldon might have got a piece of the wall there off the turn. James Harris just set the fastest lap of the race so far. Trying to close the gap on William Mann Jr. Dan Oliver currently runs in third, gets a little loose off turn four, manages to hold on to it, but it's allowing Pearson and Plus to gain a little ground here. Plus now right to the back bumper. Did hear the drivers in pre-race mentioning the fact that it seemed like that high line was king but you're going to have to make the move on the bottom. Hey, good evening, Glenn. How's it going? And the battle for the lead is about to heat up as James Harris has caught up to William Mann Jr. And they have put almost a one-second gap on Dan Oliver in third. Plass is suddenly struggling after getting up to the fourth-place car of Pearson. Looks like he's gotten loose on the last couple turns. That's allowed Tyler Meeks to catch up. Meanwhile, the battle for third is on. Pearson looks under Dan, sends it deep into, into the turn. A little slide up out of the track out of turn four. They touch. Oh, Dan Oliver is in the wall. He manages to hold on to it. Great save by Dan. Meanwhile, Sheldon Pearson now up into third, and Tyler Meeks is on a mission. Started in ninth, already up into fourth. Glenn, Glenn I understand that feeling completely. Oh, 
I, Glenn, I slept in a different bed this weekend as we stayed in a cabin at my girlfriend's family reunion. Yeah, so you know how that goes <laughs> as you get older. William Mann Jr. still holds the lead, but James Harris has been there setting faster laps, just having a hard time getting by. Meanwhile, Tyler Meeks just shoots by into third. William Mann Jr. and James Harris have been running away from the field since the drop of the green flag, but now that Tyler Meeks has cleared back up into third, he's 1.8 seconds behind, and he is gaining on him. Sheldon Pearson currently running in fourth. Stephen Pless. Oh, Stephen almost gets the wall in fifth. Dan Oliver has recovered from the hit to the wall. Trying to get a look at the right front of Dan's car just to see how much damage he's taken. Not a ton of damage and Bristol being a short. Oh, here goes Dan to the high side. Dan almost getting the wall through the turn, but he manages to make the pass back into fifth. Meeks has chopped a quarter second off the leaders. Meanwhile, the leaders, the lead has changed. They are battling for the lead. James Harris on the bottom, William Mann Jr. up top. Oh, Jr. gets the wall. Keeps his foot in it and pulls back to the lead. And James still fighting down on the bottom. Can he get anything done here? They're about to be in lap traffic. William Mann Sr. Now which side do you think he's going to be on here? His son on the top lane and James on the bottom. And Sr. gets in his son's way. James Harris goes to the lead. William Mann Jr. now in second place. Meanwhile, they battled it out. Tyler Meeks is now up 1.5 seconds behind. He has gained another quarter of a second. Sheldon Pearson in third, trying to get by William Mann Sr. a lap down. Dan Oliver back in fifth. Stephen Pless is the first driver on pit road. It is a little bit early for him to be on pit road here. He was battling with uh, Chris Sawyer a moment ago. Let's see if there was some contact. Oh, it looks like uh, he has started blinking badly and it's actually giving him some phantom damage, it looked like. And caution is out, William Mann Sr. involved. Oh, Senior gets into the outside wall. As Joe gets into Joe Gregory, looks like Joe may have taken the brunt of that damage. See if they come down pit road. If not, we're going to try and interview our new leader here. And here they come down pit road.
James Harris leading the field down. These guys only have one fast repair for tonight. At Bristol, you practically need all the fast repairs. James hits his pit box right behind Junior. Let's see if we can get a word. Hey, James, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, uh, I have to ask the obvious question here. Is how much of a bribe did you have to give Senior to block his own son? Well, you've gotten past him, but you two had quite a battle going on there, and it seemed like he was able to pull ahead and keep you pinned down. Uh, are you going to be able to hold that lead? Well, good luck, man. It's definitely been an exciting one so far. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> James Harris has the lead. William Mann Jr. will be in second. Tyler Meeks has come from way behind to third. Chris Sawyer now up in the fight. He started in eighth, now up into fourth. Another driver that didn't qualify. Joe Gregory up to fifth. Sheldon Pearson in sixth. Dan Oliver in second, seventh. Charles Whitehead in eighth, William Mann Sr. on his way off pit road in ninth, Stephen Pless in tenth, a lap, a couple of laps down rather, but he's going to get waved around the pace car. Lights go out on the pace car as the drivers stack up for the restart. Pace car is in. James Harris controls the restart. He fires there, back under green. And Tyler Meeks quickly gets to the bottom, comes by William Mann Jr. Now for second, Meeks has come from the back tonight. Might be the top contender here. Meeks drops back down to the bottom, comes under James Harris. James trying to use that high line to defend. Looks like Joe Gregory had a little slip off turn four last time, Mike. He is going back into sixth. Harris and Meeks battle it out. Meeks out of shape at a turn four, still pushing it. Meeks trying to use every bit of track he can, but that high line just has an advantage. He needs a little more room for the run off the turn. Almost gets it. Down the back straightaway, William Mann Jr. just coasting behind this two-car battle. Chris Sawyer reeling him back in, and Pearson looks like he is gaining on him. As Meeks has taken to the lead. Now Tyler Meeks is out front, James Harris in uh, second, and William Mann Jr. in third. Chris Sawyer is back in fourth, Sheldon Pearson in fifth, Joe Gregory in sixth, Dan Oliver back in seventh, Charles Whitehead in eighth, Stephen Pless in ninth, William Mann Sr. in tenth. Does not look like William Mann Sr. used his repair as he is driving a modified out there. Tyler Meeks starting to pull away, but the battle is still going for second place. James Harris and William Mann Jr. right there nose to tail, and Chris Sawyer, who's come from eighth to fourth, is now right there with them.
Tyler Meek still out front, and you know, these Gen 6 cars definitely know how to put on a show everywhere they go. As I mentioned, they, they are recruiting. You can find the Discord link in the comments. Dan Oliver, the last car on the lead lap right now, four and a half seconds back. Charles Whitehead, a couple of laps down, as is Stephen Pless and William Mann. Meeks now back into lap traffic as he comes around Charles. James Harris gets by, William Mann Jr. now gets by. Sheldon Pearson holding on to fifth. Joe Gregory losing a little ground in sixth. Dan Oliver in seventh. Not sure what has happened to Joe since the restart, but he has been struggling here. Oh, we've got a car in. Holy cow, Charles Whitehead. Great save, not getting him into... Uh, Great job not getting into Joe Gregory on that one. James Harris starting to pull a gap on William Mann Jr., but he is not gaining any ground at the moment on Tyler Meeks. William Mann Jr. back in third, losing ground to the top two. Chris Sawyer and Sheldon Pearson, though, appear to be starting to gain a little bit. Sheldon really, all late in that last run, was coming alive. Joe Gregory currently sixth, and Dan Oliver in seventh. Tyler Meeks lead still seven tenths of a second. James Harris trying to find some momentum here to get back up toward the front. William Mann Jr. back in third. Chris Sawyer, Sheldon Pearson still continuing to battle. Sheldon gets a run and gets to him. But every time he makes a move, a lap car comes into the picture. And here we go. Sheldon looks down to the bottom for fourth. Can't get the run yet. Now he's going to get the nose in. Sits the nose in into turn one. Can't get there yet. While they battle it out, William Mann Jr. opens up a little bit of a gap behind him, but it is still Tyler Meeks and James Harris. And James has caught, gained some ground on the leader. Now the gap under half a second. Top two now have a three second lead over William Mann Jr. Chris Sawyer and Sheldon Pearson not gaining any ground on the leaders, but they're having quite a fight here. As Sheldon tries to get the run up top this time. Oh, he clips the wall just barely out of four, a little loss of momentum. And Joe Gregory is gaining on them. 
Joe had lost a lot of time in the early going, but here late in the run, he is now gaining quickly. He is back under a second as they battle it out around lap traffic. If Joe clears lap traffic quicker, he's going to gain a ton of ground here as Charles holds it up top and Joe Gregory comes by. Harris is close right to Meeks. Bell, he gets a little loose. Did Harris rattle his cage on this one? James looks down to the bottom again. Down the front straightaway into turn one, inches apart. James not allowing himself to be pinched down. Dead even coming out of turn four, a drag race into one. Out of turn two, Harris has the nose ahead. And James Harris goes back to the lead. The field spread out. We should see a stage break in lap 75. Tyler Meeks now losing ground to the leader. William Mann Jr. is actually starting to gain a little bit of ground, but he's three seconds back from the top two. Chris Sawyer now five seconds back in fourth. Joe Gregory in fifth. He has gotten past Sheldon Pearson. Joe Gregory, one of the fastest cars on track right now. Watching the times last time by, Joe Gregory was the fastest car. James Harris already opening up a significant lead on Tyler Meeks now. William Mann Jr. back in third. Sawyer in fourth. Gregory in fifth. Gregory is now caught up to Sawyer. Gregory right up in the wall. Dan Oliver and Sheldon Pearson battling it out. Meanwhile, Stephen Pless also in this fight trying to get one of his laps back. And there is the caution for the stage break. James Harris has the lead. Waiting for the pace car. They get gathered up and they will go into pit road for tires and fuel. Tyler Meeks currently in second behind James Harris. William Mann Jr. is third. Chris Sawyer is fourth. Joe Gregory fifth. Dan Oliver and Sheldon Pearson round out the cars on the lead lap. Stephen Pless coming around to get one of his laps back.
William Mann Jr. hitting his pit box. Stephen Pless now headed down pit road with Charles Whitehead and William Mann Sr. And let's see if we can get a quick word with Joe Gregory. Hey, Joe, it's Doug in the booth. You got me? Hey, dude, it seems like uh, you get late in the run and nobody can beat you. You had the fastest laps the entire second half of that run and we're just marching down everybody. I was taking care of them, breaking going into the turn. Well, whatever you're doing, man, and it, you're obviously saving quite a bit of uh, tire there. Great job. And can you get from fifth up to the lead in this last part? And them guys in front of me are pretty fast. I'll be happy just to get a top five. Well, man, you're well on your way to that. A great run so far. Good luck, buddy. All right. Thank you. Joe Gregory currently runs in fifth place. Tyler Meek still has the lead. James Harris in second. William Mann Jr. in third. Chris Sawyer in fourth. And Joe Gregory in fifth. Dan Oliver and Sheldon Pearson rounding out the uh, seven cars on the lead lap. Stephen Pless, the first car. What in the... William Mann Sr. has a... Te I'm not sure what happened there. I'm going to say technical difficulty, but let's take another look. Almost looks like a wheel is wheel disconnected. William Mann Sr. coming back around, getting up to speed. Not sure what the heck happened there. Lights are back out on the pace car. The leader on the last few restarts has not led has not been leading after two or three laps. Somebody has been getting by on every restart. Steven Pless in the 69 has been waved back around to the lead lap. Now Charles Whitehead is, and William Mann Sr. They're getting them all back to the lead lap for the second half of this one. Let's see if we can get a quick word with Junior again. Hey, Junior, it's Doug. You got me? Mr. Douglas. Hey, I have to ask, man, the second half of that run did not go your way. Have you got some more speed to catch back up? Yeah, I tried pacing a little bit in that second run. Uh, that first run, I definitely took off. A little too much heat on it, just trying to get a gap, trying to see what I could do. So uh, maybe stay top three the whole race so far, so gonna try to see what I got here this last this last stretch of it you have anything for Tyler and James they seem to be in another uh, dimension here tonight oh yeah they're they're pushing a little bit hard that second run I knew was we'd have to at least pit one more time so I kind of was just cruising I was kind of hoping for it to stay green I was gonna gas and go or two tires and go and come out ahead of them but we'll see how this like said this uh, second half goes well, good luck, buddy. It's been a great race so far. I appreciate you, man. William Mann Jr. currently sitting in third, led early, qualified on the pole. And looks like William Mann Sr., the last car, is being waved back to the lead lap. All ten drivers back on the lead lap for the second half of this race. Who is it going to be? The top three out there have been extremely fast, but that fifth place car has, man, been one of the fastest late in the run if it stays green. And Chris Sawyer has just quietly snuck his way up into fourth place.
Lights are out on the pace car. Everybody stack back up for the restart. Pace car is in. Tyler Meeks controls the restart. He fires green flag back in the air. About 65 laps to go when they come back around. The top three single file, Joe Gregory and Chris Sawyer battling it out. Sawyer pulls back ahead. Pearson is right there. Dan Oliver's back there. Steve Apless, it looks like his issues from earlier have resolved themselves. Expect him to come back up through the field. Chris Sawyer still holds on to fourth, but Joe Gregory is lurking, and here comes Pearson. Sheldon Pearson now looking to the bottom. James Harris is back in the lead. Tyler Meeks and William Mann Jr. right there. Oh, William Mann Jr. is bobbling it all over the place out of three and four. Here we go. Tyler Meeks is looking to reclaim the lead down on the bottom. James Harris pulls back ahead just a hair. A drag race down the front straightaway. William Mann Jr. riding along behind. Chris Sawyer gaining on him as they battle. And Tyler Meeks may get stuck down there and may lose. Holy cow, Meeks is loose. Jr. shoots to the bottom. Meeks goes back to third. He's now going to lose third to Chris Sawyer. James Harris back to the lead, but William Mann Jr. is closing in. Now Chris Sawyer in third. Tyler Meeks in fourth. Sheldon Pearson now runs in fifth. Joe Gregory still lurking back there in sixth. Dan Oliver still within striking distance in seventh. Steven Pless has cleared a couple of cars. He's now back up into eighth place. Tyler Meeks trying to fight back by. He gets a, above Chris Sawyer. Meeks back to third. He now has to fight his way back to the lead. William Mann Jr. all over the back bumper on James Harris. Meeks looks to the bottom. He's got the nose in as they come out of two. Meeks and Junior side by side. James Harris could be the deciding factor on who comes out in second on this one. Harris moves down. It gives Junior a little bit more momentum off the turn. And William Mann Jr. back to second. Tyler Meeks relegated to third for the moment. Meanwhile, Sawyer and Pearson have closed back up to this battle. Dan Oliver is starting to lose touch with the leaders, but Joe Gregory is coming. The top three nose to tail for the moment. Fourth just has a car link between him and third. Sheldon Pearson also a car link back. Joe Gregory continues to reel in Dan Oliver. And here we go, the battle for third. Sawyer holds on to it. Pearson looks to the high side. 
Tyler Meeks is starting to fade a little bit. Sawyer has gotten by, now Pearson trying to get by. Oh, Meeks is really struggling in this second half. That car was all over the place coming out of the turn. Meeks really pushing it, trying to claw his way back toward the front. Sheldon Pearson has the momentum advantage up on the high side. Oh, Pearson's in the wall. Sheldon Pearson in the wall up top. And that car is torn up. He gets out of the racing groove. There will be no caution. James Harris continues to lead William Mann Jr. in second. Chris Sawyer now up into third. Tyler Meeks in fourth. Dan Oliver, while all of that was going on, reeled him in in fifth. Joe Gregory back in sixth. Stephen Pless in seventh. Charles Whitehead in eighth. William Mann Sr. in ninth. Sheldon Pearson. Caution is out. Pearson stopped on the apron. And it looks like there might have been some net code at play there. Let's take a look at this from a different angle. Yeah, there was definitely a little bit of net code at play there as they came in. In slow motion, let's see, there was a bit of distance between them, but that gap closed quickly. Pearson ends up backing it up into the wall, then a rough ride down the wall. And everybody is back on pit road. William Mann Sr. looks like he is going to be the lucky dog and Sheldon Pearson appears to officially be out of the race. No, William Mann Jr. and Stephen Pless staying out. Let's see if we can get a word with Pless. Hey, Stephen, it's Doug. You got me? Loud and clear. What's going hey. on, Doug? <laughs> Uh, no, you had some difficulty with the connection earlier. It set you back a bit, and it looks like you're just charging up. But uh, everybody else on pit road, you're staying out. Uh, can you hold them off? Absolutely not. The only reason I didn't pit is because I missed a commitment call. But we're gonna hope. We're gonna say uh, we're hoping for a late caution here to get some fresher tires and everybody else, so that I hopefully look like a genius. <laughs> Well, I hope that works out for you, man. I know you've been fast, and if you hadn't had that setback early on, you'd be up here battling these guys. Yeah, I'd like to think I got top five speed, but can I stay out of my head or not? That's the real question. So, well, man, I'm wishing you the best of luck. Uh, glad to see you fighting your way back up here. Hey, we'll get there one way or another. We may wreck the field falling to the back, but we're here for now. <laughs> man, whatever works, buddy, get it done. Hell yeah. Stephen Bless currently in the lead, but on old tires. Everybody else in the field has freshies. James Harris will be in second. William Mann Jr. in third. Chris Sawyer in fourth. Dan Oliver in fifth. Joe Gregory sixth. Charles Whitehead seventh. Tyler Meeks has fallen all the way back to eighth place after up leading earlier on. He has had some struggles in the second half of the race after being one of the fastest in the first half. A 
Lights are out on the pace car. Pace car is in. Here they go. Oh, plus his tire spin on the restart. And he gets a bump. There's a big wreck on the front straightaway. Caution. Wow. All right, let's start with Stephen Pless. Pace car drops in. Pless gets on it. Right there, he gets on it, and you see the car just can't grip. William Mann Jr. gives him a little bump. Then there's the checkup back behind with Chris Sawyer. That whole bottom line gets go. Oh, looks like Junior just comes up, just barely clips Chris Sawyer and sends him around. And chaos ensues back behind. Charles Whitehead is caught up in it. A little bit of everybody from third on back. And now Dan Oliver has snuck his way up into second. William Mann Jr., William Mann Sr., Chris Sawyer, and Stephen Pless all back on pit road. Tyler Meat, the top five are going to be James Harris, Dan Oliver, Charles Whitehead, Joe Gregory, and Tyler Meeks. And man, what a save by Charles. Let's see if we can get a word with him. Hey, Charles, it's Doug. You got me? I got you, Doug. What's up? Hey, man, I haven't talked to you in a while, but great to see you back out on track. And uh, I have to say, what great wreck avoidance you have there. Yeah, I tried. I don't have a front end or bumper, so I don't know how this thing's going to work out. Well, from our angle, it looks like your rear bumper is gone, but your front bumper appears to be there on screen at least. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> man, let's see if we can get a different angle on you. But, yeah, you've got a front bumper as far as we can see. <laughs> hey, it's Bristol, baby. We don't need nothing but wheels and an engine. That, ain't that the truth? Man, you've had a great run so far tonight. Now you get this uh, opportunity up here in third. Can you make something happen? I'm going to try. <laughs> well, good luck. We'll with, see how far we go. With James up there blinking, you never know what will happen. Yes, sir. <laughs> good luck, buddy. Well, thank you. You can tell Charles is having a blast out there. Lights are off on the pace car. Just over 30 laps to go at Bristol. Pace car is in Harris. Fires green is in the air. Dan Oliver holds on to second place. Charles Whitehead fighting to hold on to third. Here comes Tyler Meeks with no front clip. They're gonna, oh my goodness, they look like they were gonna end up three wide as Joe Gregory comes by on the high side. Whitehead gets loose off the turn. Gregory now to third. William Mann Jr. to fourth. Tyler Meeks in fifth. Chris Sawyer back up in sixth. Stephen Plass up to seventh. He comes by Whitehead. William Mann Sen Sr. back in ninth. Oh, Harris gets the wall at the line. Just gave it a little love tap. Dan Oliver currently runs in second. William Mann Jr. in third. Tyler Meeks in fourth. Chris Sawyer in fifth. Sawyer coming back by Joe Gregory. Sawyer back up into fifth as he tries to run him down. Meeks up into fourth with no front clip. 
And James Harris still in the lead, trying to find some ground. Dan Oliver in second place. Twenty six laps to go in Bristol. Twenty five to go. James Harris leads Dan Oliver up in contention again. William Mann Jr. still holding on to that top three position. Tyler Meeks in fourth, no front clip, still fast. Chris Sawyer back in fifth is actually starting to reel in the lead pack. Joe Gregory was one of the guys that pitted under this last caution. He got four tires and fuel. Will it be enough? He was fast on the long run. Earlier on, will he get enough wear on the tires and will these other guys have, an, have worn out their tires enough for him to catch up? Junior touches the wall just a little bit. Looks like late in the run, everybody has given the wall a little bit of a kiss here and there. 20 to go. Sawyer is starting to gain on Tyler Meeks. Gregory losing a little bit of ground. And Steven Pless is reeling in Joe Gregory. is really pushing it. You saw him get wicked loose out of turn four. He manages to hold on to it. Let's see how hard he pushes it this time. No, that car stays... Oh, damn blinking. James Harris was blinking earlier under caution. Dan blinking now. William Mann Jr. has got to have his fingers crossed that something will work out for him here. Meeks back in fourth, Sawyer in fifth. Both drivers still trying to gain some ground. Sawyer continues to pull him, pull Meeks in. Joe Gregory now one and a half seconds back, but he is starting to come alive as the run goes on. And Steven Pless is still gaining. One and a quarter second back, but can he make up enough ground to get a few positions here for the points? Charles Whitehead, who restarted up in third place in the action point card, just realized that. Uh, currently in eighth, William Mann Sr. in ninth, Sheldon Pearson out of the race. James Harris has a three-quarter of a second lead at the moment over Dan. Junior now one second behind Dan Oliver. Tyler Meeks currently runs in fourth. Chris Sawyer in fifth. Sawyer has caught back up to Tyler Meeks. And here we go. Oh, William Mann Jr. coming by. The old man put him a lap down. You have to wonder if they had words earlier after the incident.
Tyler Meeks in fourth, Chris Sawyer in fifth. Those two still battling it out. Meeks, despite ma missing his entire front clip so far, has been able to hold them all. The lap car may come into play here. No, he moves up to the high side. Meanwhile, James Harris comes out of four, five laps to go. He's got a three second lead over Dan Oliver, William Mann Jr. Now looking to the bottom. Junior gets a little bit of a run through one and two. Now down into three and four. Tyler Meeks, Chris Sawyer continue battling for fourth. This is the battle for second between Dan Oliver and William Mann Jr. Dan on the high side, William on the bottom. And while they battle it out, James continues to extend his lead. Two laps to go for James Harris. Dan Oliver currently runs in second, but Junior keeps looking down low. He's going to have one more time. White flag in the air. William Mann Jr. pushing for all he's got, but will it be enough? He looks back down to the bottom. Oh, Dan gets into the wall. They touch. Junior pulls ahead. Dan's in the wall again. Tyler Meeks is battling it out side by side out of turn four. Meeks gets together with Sawyer. They crash, but Meeks finishes fourth. Holy crap, what a finish. Let's take a look at William Mann Jr. making that pass again and everything that happened right after. Jr. sends it deep into turn one. Dan bumps the wall out of turn two. They get together. Dan manages to recover. Meanwhile, Sawyer and Meeks go at it. Off turn four, Meeks gets a little push. They both get a push. Meeks bounces off. They get together. But what a finish we had. Let's talk to our third place finisher, Dan Oliver. Hey, Dan, it's Doug. You got me? Yeah, I got you. How's it going? Hey, man, it's good. Uh, that was quite a finish there, buddy. Man, I I killed everything I had just trying to keep up with James there after the last restart. And 10 laps to go, I had nothing left. Uh, I had to kind of lean on uh, Junior there just to keep it straight. But uh, that was able to at least cross the line somewhat forward. <laughs> you did, man. And you managed to hold off a hard-charging uh, Tyler Meeks and Chris Sawyer behind you as well. See, I wasn't paying any attention to them at all. I looked up after uh, me and Man got together and saw that they were creeping up. Um, but like I said, I was just glad I was able to hold on to it, keep it straight, and uh, bring it home in third. Man, great run, great race tonight. Congratulations, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate it. Dan Oliver comes home third. Junior comes home in second. Junior, you came home in second. You almost came home in second sideways, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he uh, he kissed that wall pretty good. I had to make a decision. I said, all right, if I hit him pretty good, I'm pretty sure we can both just not die. And it worked out. <laughs> that was probably a one in a million hit there. But, man, you come home, uh, you had quite a battle. You led some tonight. You uh, come home in second, and you fought with just about everybody on track at some point. But, really, the more important question is, earlier in the race, you and James were battling it out side by side. And... <laughs> You know where I'm going here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, so, so the old man apparently got paid off. He set me up, you know. <laughs> that, was my all that was my suspicion, but James would not confirm how much he, uh, he paid him. <laughs> yeah, we were having a pretty good run there. and uh, man, Dad was like, I'll say hi. We heard him over the, the comm, and I was like, it's too late. It don't matter. <laughs> Nothing's going to change. It was too late by the time we caught him. 
Well, man, you did an awesome job tonight. Congratulations on second. And you got to do something to put a stop to James' winning streaks. You know how these get. Yeah, yeah. I think what I have to do is just try to get him stuck in the wall or something. Just uh, just enough to catch him near the pits where he gets on the barrels. Just and rattle I, his I know cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I have to be sneaky about it where like, I uh, disable his admin so he can't DQ me real quick when he's mad at me. Because I know it's gonna, I'm going to make him mad, but I'm like, i got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, man, and uh, great race tonight, buddy. I appreciate you. And our winner, James Harris. And, James, that was almost a dramaless win. You, once you took the lead, there was no looking back. Yeah, I told you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'd finally learned how to save tires at Bristol this last week, so I think that paid off tonight. It definitely did. You were actually running away even before they started battling before you behind you. You had about a two-second lead. Lap traffic was never a big issue for you, and you just kept marching away. Yeah, like I said, it's it's hard doing what I'm doing early in a run to keep them from passing you or leaving you because, you know, I'm, I'm saving tires and I'm running slower in the middle of the corner than they are, but you see after about 15, 20 laps, it pays off and you just set sail, you know. But it, it, it worked tonight. Well, two wins in a row. Uh, are you looking for three next week? I would, but I probably won't make it because I'll be going to the race at Texas Motor Speedway, and I doubt I'll be back in time. But we may uh, we may break a speed law or two trying to make it. <laughs> oh, the irony. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, right. man. Another great win, buddy. All right, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. James Harris gets win number two on the season. Two races, two wins. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That was definitely a fun race at Bristol. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Don't forget to come back tomorrow night. Jones BS Racing returns as that season is winding down. Thank you guys so much and hope you had a great night.